Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed doing this worked example. So let's work through the question now. All right, so in this question we have three different types of equations. We've got um, four shapes. And my advice for these types of questions would be to, in the question that you're solving for, so for in this case, this is the third one, rather than trying to, often people will try and solve for each shape individually. So they'll try to solve for a triangle, try to solve for a circle. When I say solve for, I mean, they'll try and do things like, you know, put circle on one side of the equation. So they'll have circle equals rectangle minus triangle. And then for every circle in the final equation, they'll substitute it in. That is too slow and it's a bit sort of, it wastes a lot of time that you don't need to really waste. Um, so the way that I would do it is I would just look for the overall collection of equality in the final equation. So in this case, we know that one rectangle equals a circle and a triangle. So if you look onto this side of the equation, you see that we have a circle and a triangle. So what I'm trying to do is reduce the number of things in that final equation. So let's do that. So if we cross this out and we put in a rectangle here, now we have rectangle plus circle equals pentagon triangle plus rectangle. Now using just simple maths, we know if we have one rectangle on one side of the equality and a rectangle on the other side of the equality, we can minus a rectangle from both sides, right? You can draw that in if you want, minus rectangle, minus rectangle, right? So that's scratched out. So if I was to redraw the equation, it's circle equals pentagon plus triangle. All right, now that we have this, we're getting close to an answer. So remember the question is plus question mark, okay? So what can we add here that will complete the equation? Well, if you just look at this inequality up here, which I'll highlight with this one, wrong pen, just highlight here, you can see that circle equals pentagon, Yep, we've got that, plus triangle, yep, plus another triangle. So we know that mystery object is a triangle and we pick D, which is the correct answer. All right, so I think the key takeaway for this question type is look at the sort of equation you're solving for and spend time trying to find the collection of different things in the final equation. So for instance, if a square equals three different shapes, Rather than trying to work out what each shape equals individually, look for those three shapes in that first equation in the final equation, because then you can go from having three different shapes down to one square. So I'm always trying to make that bottom equation smaller by trading, say, two, like plus two things down to one thing. And as you do that in multiple steps, you'll eventually find, find your answer um, in a relatively straightforward way. All right. So good luck working on numerical puzzles.